Hello everyone and welcome to another video, my track guide for the BIR full layout in the Formula 4. It's a really tricky track but really fun, let's get into it. For turn 1 you want to be all the way on the left for qualifying, but this is one of the hardest braking zones so people will send it up the inside on the races. That's just something to keep in mind. I break about halfway between the 1 and the 2 board here. I break really hard to about 90-95% to 95%, and then I trail off the brake all the way to the curb. I get on the curb just as it starts, and that is the green and yellow curb, and I pretty much follow it all the way around. Once I get to the curb, I will start to apply the throttle, and I'll go to a 100% straight away. You can get a bit of wheel spin if you get too much on the curb. If you do that for the next lap, just take a little less curb. When we exit, we want to hold the car as tight as we can, but without suffocating it, but you should be able to stay close to the white line here on the right. I stick to the middle of the track going through turn 2. I do that to open up turn 3 a lot more, so we can carry more speed. When I lose the curb on the inside for turn 2, out of my main screen, I'll brake. Or you can brake about one or two car lanes before the darkened part of the track. I brake to about 45% and quickly get off the brake again. I also use second gear, and I want to take the curb on the inside. I only do it with the left side. Once I'm heading straight for the curb, I'll apply the throttle. And we do have a lot of runoff, so we can apply it earlier than we think. The exit out of turn 4 is really important to get a good lap time around here, as we are going on to quite a long time for full throttle. I brake just before the repaved part just in front of us here. I brake quickly to about 80% and then I trail the brake all the way to the curb. And I eat a lot of the curb here, like the full carb on it. I do this to open up turn 5 a lot more. As soon as I'm on the curb I will go full throttle again. And then of course I will take the curb for turn 5 as well. But this time only with the right set of wheels. With lighter fuel loads we'll be able to go through here with full throttle. But with the heavy fuel load we will have to lift just after turn 5 to about 70%. For a really short while, then you should be able to turn the car all the way in for turn 6. After taking this second curb, then you want to be on the left side of the track. Not all the way out, but about a third in. When getting this right, we'll be close to the first curb for turn 6. You are able to lean on both of the curbs in turn 6, both the first one and the second one, if the car is sliding a little much. Now we are full throttle all the way up to turn 10. If you're in the draft, this is strong here, but it's also very dangerous trying going too wide through 7, 8 and 9. It is doable, but it's hard. If you're all alone, you want to take every curve you can here, and that includes the green and yellow one. Turn 9, the car will feel like it slides quite a lot. You can take the inside curve, but it will feel like it yanks really hard in the car. For turn 10, I don't have a clear braking marker, but you do have to brake. These tire marks helped me quite a lot. They were much more visible when in the sim, so I tried to use those going around here. My peak brake pressure was about 55%, and then I quickly trailed off the brake to the curb. Once at the curb, that looks like concrete, and I went full throttle again. If you get this right, you should just ride the curb on the outside. If you carry too much speed, you will end up in the grass, and if you take too much curb, you'll get a 1x. This is where you need to practice a lot. It is really hard to get right. Turn 11 and 12 can make a brake a lap. My braking marker is the 2 board here. I brake to about 50% and then I keep it there all the way to turn 12. I only touch the concrete curb here on the inside for turn 11, and then the aim is to get out to the left side of the track for turn 12. We want to turn the car as early as we can, so we can get on the throttle as early as we can. I go into first gear, and once at the repaved part, I'll turn in for turn 12 and go for the inside curb. Once I'm looking at the inside curb, I will go full throttle, and then I'll use all of the outside room as well. And now we have a really long straight once again, so it's really important to get early on the throttle. And again, draft will be really strong going down here, because it's such a long straight. I'll only recommend going for an overtake here. If you're fully alongside the car, or you can see you will go in front of it. Because braking into turn 14 can be really sketchy if going too wide. For turn 14, we can brake really late, because we're going uphill. So what you want to do is turn in before you brake. I turn in at the 2 board here, and then I brake when I get to the arrow on the last white sign. When we get to that, you want to brake hard, and I mean really hard. I hit 90% brake pressure, and then I trail it off as we get up to the top of the hill. I prefer first gear here, but you can try second if you feel the car is too unstable. I normally get onto the concrete curb, but in this one I missed it. As soon as I get halfway around the curb, I will apply the throttle again, and I'll use all of the curb on the outside. When going on to 16 and 17, we want to take all of the curb on the inside, and I mean all of it. I put all of the car up here. As soon as I get onto the curb, I will go off the throttle, and when I get off it, I will apply the brake. But it is only a quick hit for about 25%, and you want to be quickly off it again. You don't want to take too much curb on the right, as it will unsettle the car and make you slide. If you slide here, you will lose quite a lot of time. Once I'm off the second curb, I will go full throttle again. And if you're close to the right side of the repaved part, you should be able to keep the throttle pinned. And of course, if your car pushes you up, use the curb on the left side, but turn the car in after that so you get close to the right side, as you need to take the shortest route possible to the line. And that's my lap around VAR, the full layout in the Formula Ford slash Ray FF1600. As I said, great challenge. It was really fun to drive here. I hope it helped you. If it did, leave a like down below. Consider subscribing as well. And now for the uninterrupted hot laps.